Hi everyone, I'm Manka from Medry Studio and this is the place to be to hear about the latest web free trends in healthcare. Today's episode is very special because I'm about to geek out really hard on some amazing tech I got to see firsthand. Why? Well, simply because last week I had the incredible privilege of attending an event that was hosted by Deso System at their 3D Experience Lab. And let me tell you, the science geek inside of me had a really wonderful time. From healthcare to sustainability and everything in between, the innovations were just mind-blowing. So today I am taking you on a throwback journey to revisit the most impactful projects that I discovered there. Welcome into the Meta Health. The 3D Experience Lab is an innovation incubator that was created by Dassault System and is designed to be this collaborative playground for creators, engineers and startups that want to make their crazy ideas a reality. So whether it's in healthcare or aerospace or sustainability, the lab offers a space to, to explore, to model, to simulate concepts in virtual environments. So of course, when the teams at the 3D Experience Lab invited us to their event, we absolutely had to say yes. So here is a rundown of some mind-blowing innovations that we discovered. First off, let's talk about Damae Medical, a startup that's literally changing how we diagnose skin cancer. Now, if you're like me, the thought of skin cancer kind of sends a shiver down your spine. Well, early detection is key. But how do you do that? Well, traditionally through biopsies. That's sort of painful, slow, and let's be honest, nobody really likes having chunks of skin taken out. So Dame Medical created a device that's like this tiny microscope, but for your skin. So the device can see beneath the surface of your skin without any cutting or poking or anything. So you literally put this thing on your skin and that's it. You see the layers underneath in real time. The implications for early cancer detections are just huge. And this isn't just about convenience. It could really save lives by speeding up the whole process when time is, of course, of the essence. Next up, we've got Inali Arms. And I'm telling you, this is straight up bionic superhero stuff. Inali has developed a bionic arm that's not only affordable, but also operated by brain signals. So instead of the traditional muscle-based systems, which can be tricky for many users, their technology taps directly into brain waves, giving more reliable and natural control over the prosthetic. For people who've lost limbs, this could really be a game changer. Now let's look at Grafeel and their smart wound care system. If you've ever had to deal with wounds, whether it's for yourself or for somebody else, you'll know how tricky they can be to manage, especially if infections get involved. So Grafeel has developed a wearable patch that doesn't just cover the wound, it actively monitors it. And this is completely mind blowing. So here's how it works. It sends real time data to your phone. So imagine getting an alert that a wound is becoming infected before things get really serious, all without having to remove the bandages. This is the future of wound care. And I must admit that I didn't quite understand how the underlying technology works, but the promise sounds really groundbreaking. One of the most exciting companies I discovered at the event was Latisse Medical. It is a startup reimagining breast reconstruction with a bioresorbable tissue chamber. So breast cancer is the most common cancer among women. It affects over 2.3 million people annually, yet only about 20% of women who undergo mastectomies, which is removing the breast, actually receive breast reconstruction. And this is due to the limitations of current techniques. Latisse Medical aims to change all of that. And this is how it works. After a mastectomy, Matisse is implanted where the breast tissue used to be. And over time, it promotes the growth of natural fat tissue, 
while at the same time gradually dissolving, which leaves a fully reconstructed breast. What I found really innovative is that they use the fat tissue present at the site of the incision, puts it inside the bioresorbable chamber, and lets it grow naturally until it, until it fills the whole chamber, at which point it dissolves and leaves the naturally reconstructed breast. So I'm not a surgeon, but it does look quite incredible. Now, let me tell you about one of the most inspiring innovations I encountered at the event. It's called Dot Lumen. Their project absolutely blew my mind. Dot Lumen has developed AI powered glasses for the visually impaired. And when I say AI powered, I mean these glasses work just like a guide dog would. So imagine a pair of glasses that scan your environment and give you haptic feedback to navigate your surroundings. That means that you feel a sort of pressure that guides you left or right, similar to what a guide dog would do by pulling you. With 338 million visually impaired people worldwide and only about 28,000 guide dogs available, Dot Lumen is providing a scalable, affordable, and really life-changing solution. It's amazing how a piece of wearable tech can offer mobility and freedom like this. So this is hands down the most amazing stuff I saw at the event. And I even got to talk to the founder and CEO who explained to me, and this is really fun fact, that he created his device when he was at home during the COVID-19 pandemic because he was bored. Uh, He comes from a family that suffers from such disabilities. So he really wanted to find a way to help them and all the visually impaired people in the world. So I wish them the very best of luck with their invention, which will soon be available on European markets. Now, the SO system doesn't only operate in healthcare. So here are a few honorable mentions to inventions that I discovered in other industries. And of course, a massive thank you to the teams that took the time to explain to me their technology despite my very embarrassing lack of knowledge in their respective fields. First one is Futura Gaia, a startup rethinking how we grow food through soil-based vertical farming. Now, vertical farming isn't new from when they told me, but what Futura Gaia is doing is truly innovative. They use rotating soil beds, which means plants that grow in a vertical structure and the soil moves in a circular motion. This method allows for more efficient use of space and resources, producing more crops in a smaller area. And if just like me, you don't come from this space, this is why it's so groundbreaking. Traditional farming usually relies on large fields, tons of water, and often harmful pesticides. Futura Gaia's rotating beds solve most of these problems. The system uses up to 90% less water than traditional farming, and because the environment is controlled, they don't need pesticides. So the plants get all the nutrients that they need from that rotating soil, which ensures even distribution of water and nutrients. Now, while we're on the topic of saving the planet, Atacama Biomaterials is absolutely slaying the plastic game. They've created something called Woodpack, which is a compostable and recyclable material made from, you guessed it, wood pulp. This stuff is as light and durable as plastic, but without all the downsides. If their tech scales the way it promises to, we could see a world with far less plastic waste clogging up our oceans and landfills. The sheer environmental impact could be massive. Think 30 million tons of plastic waste eliminated and 263 million metric tons of CO2 emissions avoided annually. So there you have it, a tour of some of the most innovative startups I encountered at the 3D Experience Lab. It really encouraged me to discover things outside of my usual field of work and be curious about crazy innovations that can change our world. So that's it for today. I will see you soon for another Web3 adventure in healthcare.